actually think we might have a grave here? I think this is an articulated skeleton. Where do you think the ribs are? There. Oh, these Those ones there, yeah. yeah. For 40 years, a vicarage garden in a sleepy Derbyshire village has harboured an extraordinary archaeological mystery. I think this might break in two pieces. Yeah. It's riddled with ancient graves. <laughs> That's That's lovely, well really done, nice. <laughs> Leading the excavation today is Norwegian archaeologist Kat Jarman. When I first came to Repton in 1974, I was just a schoolboy, and I worked on the project over the next eight years. We just made one fabulous discovery after another. Led by Professor Martin Biddle and his wife Beata, the team made their greatest discovery beneath a mound of earth. So the mound was just about here. It's now been turned into a rather nice barbecue area. Of course, the excavation completely removed the mound. Crammed in was literally this much of solid human bone. One kind of felt almost like crunch, crunch, crunch as one moved across this sea of human charnel, of human debris. It was a mass grave that contained the remains of at least 264 individuals. Intriguingly, many of the bones bore vicious battle scars. This site was really this great mystery. So I came into it hoping to shed some light on, on who these people were, and it was quite clear that we could use some more science and new methods to try and resolve that big conundrum. The teeth are in relatively good condition, so we might be able to get enough to have an idea of age. Previous attempts to date the Repton skeletons have proved inconclusive, something Cat wants to address. It's like a forensic exercise. You, you start with just a completely unknown skeleton, and then you really start to build up a story around this person by looking at everything from age and sex and course of death to things like diet and DNA. One particular skeleton buried away from the mass grave has already yielded valuable clues as to who these people might be. And if I can remember, the warrior grave was located just about, about here underneath the, the Great Saxon building. The head was to the west. The body was laid out so probably his feet were just about here. In fact, when we excavated it, we thought that he had three legs um, because one of them was a sword. The design of the sword's hilt was typically Viking. Even more compelling, was a piece of jewellery in the grave, a silver hammer of Thor, the Norse god of thunder. The evidence pointed to a Viking warrior. Was this warrior a Viking chieftain? And if so, were the bodies in the mass grave his soldiers? An ancient account called the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle offers some clues. The raiding army burned and demolished, killed abbot and monks. This was a Viking army.